So I could say that during this shift, since I don't know, I don't want to move, to use any uh, time because it's different for all you people. So for last six hours, we had lots of demos, lots of contributions. We recorded lots of them and still we have more to have now. So let's start. Who's, who's going to be the first to demo something on this meeting? Oh, Lukas, I can see you. <laughs> what a surprise. Actually, it's my first contribution today. Uh, second, sorry, second. So first to demo. And so actually, I, I need to start with the context. So let me share my screen. And uh, I'm going to show you, uh, firstly, the issue I have reported before, because, uh, you know, it's I, I'm typical Polish, so we need to create some work to do and then do it. And um, yeah, so I started with uh, <laughs> with reporting an issue with uh, with problem of uh, yeah, that shouldn't be this one. Uh, this one, yeah. CMS page modifications are not being reported in action log. So when you tr take a look on uh, on EE version, which is Enterprise Edition, uh, you can check that you have action logs and that uh, there you have reports. Yeah. Uh, that's all about the context but one second okay so when we when you have that action logs uh, report you can see that uh, all the logins are uh, are being logged also the catalog products uh, changes are um, are reported you can see which uh, product i have edited which products were affected by uh, by my changes uh, so this is how it looks like for uh, for products. It looks awesome because you see exactly who broke your uh, your store, who who changed something. But the issue is like uh, when you change something to CMS page, it's not being uh, logged. Um, so I reported the bug, but I also covered that uh, that bug with a functional test in MFTF. So you can see the GIF, but I'm not going to uh, to show you some funny GIFs. I'm going to show you uh, the real uh, real working uh, environment. So let me run my VNC or the VNC. It's going to open my Chrome, and yeah. So I have a Chrome window here. Uh, let me make always on top. I'm going to run this test. It's admin CMS page safe in a reported, uh, safe is reported. And we can see that uh, it's uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. I think that MFTF has some sleep there. <laughs> That's, yeah. uh, we need to wait for generation, all the deprecation messages, notices, warnings, and so on. And now we have a uh, login window open. Uh, we can see that it's opening uh, opening the admin panel. It's uh, moving to CMS page that we created. It changes the title, and then uh, it moves to the uh, reports page. But we have so many reports here, so we need to filter out these reports uh, by the ID of the page. And we can see that we have no report here. So it's reports that we have uh, we have we have like empty grid and we ex uh, expected it to not be empty. Uh, as uh, we have uh, Allure reports connected, we can check the actual result and we can see that all the steps were performed correctly, but we asserted grid. Uh, Assert grid uh, not empty. I should fix the the, uh, Euro, the step key. But yeah, expect not empty grid is failing. We can see that our screenshots not the screenshot notices that uh, the the grid is actually empty, so it fails. Uh, so the uh, the the um, pull request contains of one single uh, test. But also to perform that test, I had to extract some extra um, extra action groups into the CMS uh, CMS module, which is admin CMS page set title action group. 
also admin assert grid not empty action group and admin UI grid selects filter option act action group and also I added the filter uh, input for uh, selecting the um, to, to choose the, uh, the select in that bar uh, of filters over the grid and that's my pull request so if other person wants to fix that uh, that uh, changes reporting uh, I'd love to I'd love to see that contribution for now he can use uh, like with that he can use my pull request to uh, to confirm if his uh, changes actually fixed the issue Hey Lucas, I have a couple of questions. So, uh, so first, you fixed, right? You did not only create scenario fixed on modularity issues, right? So you extracted a CMS related action group to CMS module, and uh, I assume you added some new action groups and moved them to UI module. That's cool. Uh, so, and that answered my first question I had: whether the, the test was modular. But the other question was that. Uh, so I saw, so you created a new scenario, right? Completely new scenario. Yes. But, but we have a bunch of uh, we have a bunch of act, uh, log action types. Uh, can't we optimize a bit and, and use single scenario to check for all the uh, action types in single scenario and have single bootstrap? Like perform for yeah, all the all the action parts. You mean like view, save, edit, and so on? Yep. Not only yeah, but not only uh, CMS, but also product, all the other actions that we log. So effectively, have a admin action log scenario. So I, as an admin, I go and perform a bunch of operations, and then I go to admin agreed, and I check that all of those operations were logged, like admin created, ad, uh, sorry, user created, the product created, product edited, product deleted, in all all yeah, the things. It's, it's... Yeah, we can we can uh, make the coverage for that, but it's uh, as you see, it takes time. I can show the screen once again and shortly um, show you my uh, storm. Um, let me open it. And quite recent uh, is that one. So you can see in that the test. Uh, actually, I have locally it's commented out to to run that test. Uh, but uh, you can see that before we run this specific test, we create a CMS page, then we log in as an admin. So that part is specific for CMS page. That part, uh, that whole test is, is specific for CMS page. So if you want to uh, cover, for example, admin, uh, admin edit, admin save, admin delete, and so on, uh, for every single uh, scenario, you need to to create another test. So if uh, we have some if we have some um, workforce that is uh, able to to do it for us, uh, we can uh, we can um, cover the whole functionality. But uh, it takes time. Unfortunately, it takes more time to uh, yeah. make some yeah to make some uh, yeah, I mean, fixtures um... before. I yeah. think I think in this case it will be good if we will find uh, all product uh, if we will find scenarios which creates a product updates product all all of those scenarios which you and Tom mentioned and from a logger module we will extend those tests adding this verification to already existing uh, scenarios. Okay, in this I case, guess the if point. We, yeah, in this case if we will disable this module. Uh, the basic scenarios will work, and if we, and when we enable those scenarios, also we will uh, add this verification that admin logger is working properly. Well, uh, that, uh, on that I also have so I have two comments. So first, to, to identify all scenarios, we can do code search on on logger, like on using the function to log, right? So that that should be pretty easy. And we, if we can do that and create a task in our MFTF coverage backlog, that would be great, right? So create a task that will uh, you know, to go do that, look for for these usages and create scenarios for all. Of, and ideally, I think it should be single scenario that's extended uh, for all of these uh, different cases, right? So, so that we don't restart to one uh, one scenario uh, for every sp specific case, right? Do 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 you guys agree, or mm -hmm. am I saying so, something crazy here? 
Yeah, it, it would be easier to just um, maybe not one scenario, but one action group that uh, verifies if some action is visible in uh, in reports and it's doable. And that's actually a good idea. Um, I'm so sorry, maybe I, I'm, I'm not sure I understood correctly uh, what, what you said. So what I'm saying is that now I see that CMS, CMS action log is uh, uh, so we created a separate scenario for CMS action slot, right? So now tomorrow we want to cover uh, product action slot, right? Uh, will we create, my question here, uh, will we go create a new scenario or do we extend this scenario? My preference would be extend this scenario, right? Because I don't, I don't want us uh, to- Not this one, my, not this my, one. My, my, my preference will be create a new scenario because in case of a bug, we will skip this scenario and all tests will be skipped. In case if we will have small separate scenarios, I will be able to skip on the CMS scenario and everything else will work. And on each pull request, it will verify that it works correctly. But why do we optimize for skipping tests? That should be that should be discouraged in our workflow, right? I mean, it's not a normal Actually, situation where there is a bug and, and, and partial tests uh, uh, fail. So. Uh, Right. I mean, actually, it's, uh, it's 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 not the question to me. Actually, I agree with you, Anton. But it's this question should go to product okay, owners. Okay. Okay. Understood. Because, but but uh, okay. Uh, sorry. So I'm I'm just asking this question because I do not have context. Right. So so first, understood. You would you would love to have uh, that in single scenario, but there is this uh, you know uh, aspect that we don't like that uh, that we need the ability to skip tests quickly. I do not think any, any but and you, you said you disagree with that. I agree with you. I also disagree with that, right? So that's clear. Okay, so now we have to fix that. Uh, but uh, okay, that's a separate question, not the topic here. The other, the other uh, but the, you know, one other the summary of this short sub conversation is that there is a performance implication of that because if we create a scenario for every small, uh, for every small operation, it takes uh, it takes all tests run longer, right? So, like, at, ideally, in my opinion, there would be not that many functional test scenarios in Magento, but they would be all be pretty big. But that's probably also a separate conversation. It probably, I would like to hear your Alex and uh, uh, and Lukas uh, opinions. But the third third uh, uh, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, exactly. uh, I got your point, but we have so many um, so many tests that can be improved that uh, if we want to speak about performance of uh, MFTF tests, um, yeah, we can optimize them. But uh, to have such optimization, we should have QA team which will um, which will write down uh, which scenarios can be performed one one after another i mean like uh, to to be put in one scenario for in my case for example in my case uh, if i extend let me share the screen again uh, if i extend this test to uh, when it opens cms page action group to verify at this point with action group uh, reference um, very admin verify action in a uh, report, just for example, action group and verify uh, product for CMS page view uh, and then put argument that I expect that the um, action value view is visible for argument name uh, that could be ID, for example, value and then the uh, page ID, we can uh, we can just use existing tests. Uh, first um, first step is like I don't need to create separate step for that because I can take any of the uh, functional tests that were created for uh, for CMS page and then inherit like extend the uh, exist existing test and just after each of the steps add my action groups that verify if uh, if the um, if that actions were actually performed so we don't create completely new scenarios we uh, depend on the existing one uh, so that's that's first uh, first case and uh, second thing i wanted to mention is like uh, we can uh, cover like view like uh, save 
and then delete in the same uh, test. So we run one test, we do one uh, fixture creating uh, to perform three uh, verifications. And if um, the, the only issue actually is like, if first assumption fails, the other two are not checked. It can be like, uh, we have some bug with view, uh, view test, so, and, but still saving and, uh, and deleting works fine. We wouldn't be able to, uh, to find it out. So uh, having them separately, we have still possibility to see uh, all the scope, what is actually broken, if a uh, whole CMS is broken or if only a uh, view of CMS logging uh, is, is broken. Okay, uh, I mean, I, I don't have strong opinion. How do you group that? My only point here is that uh, we should, uh, I, I mean, I do not care that much how we group them. I, I would like to make sure that we group them and do not create separate scenarios for every small subtype. And then my last point here, and I'll shut up about it, was that um, it looks like we will have modularity issue if we group, because from what I saw, you guys put CMS, CMS specific checks into logging module. Like if I, for example, go and disable CMS module tomorrow, right? That will probably mean that my logging test will, will fail. So maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm right, the, what I, I think would be better in this option would be to create a separate package for CMS logging that would extend logging scenario. Now, does it make okay. sense? Yeah. yeah, it makes sense, but still, I need to show you. Uh, the only thing that connects me with, with Adobe is that uh, hoodie. And uh, to introduce new package is like uh, way through the hell. Uh, and if I'm not, uh, like, if it's not a uh, password like MSI or uh, Adobe Stock Integration or something, it's just the functional test. It's, it's, it has no, some, not so much uh, promotion to introduce another module, which is uh, like uh, um, admin logging CMS uh, just for testing purpose that would be uh, enforced to, uh, to like, uh, to move that somehow to well, one I, of these modules. Okay, understood. So that was that was not clear for me. Okay, so I think we should be optimized for modularity, right? Modularity should be important part of Magento, and it should be very easy to create new new packages for Magento. Uh, and packages, in my opinion, I believe the packages should be small, and you should be able to remove the packages you don't need, right? So and, and from that perspective, also the modularity of Functional tests should also be should follow modularity of modules. If you, if I disable CMS, mm -hmm. my logging module does not fail. Right, that should be uh, the requirement. So I think we have at least a couple of people that we have uh, on, on on this call that can influence that who you can work with. So let's let's discuss it maybe in the chat. And and if if that's a problem, if it's very hard to create uh, uh, packages, that's bad. Let's figure out what we what we can do to fix it. Technically, it's not very hard to create separate packages, and there is no any technical issues to create those tests to be modular. The problem is uh, not all engineers understand the uh, modularity, what is modularity in Magento and how it works. Not everyone understands it, and quality engineers especially who write those tests they they are not able to to go to i don't know composer json file and see what dependencies you have in your package and on which module you can be dependent and on which you cannot we trained them i i did at least three trainings about on on this regard but still we have this problem people just write tests at any module they decide to write those tests and they don't think to decompose this module into smaller piece uh, this test into smaller pieces into appropriate modules i understand but it looks like in this specific situation lucas understand that and he wants to do it he just feels like it's hard to do so let's help him you know create a package and uh, and and promote magenta modularity further right? so i think on this call we all agree what we need to do we just need to figure out what, what we need to do. Actually, how, how, Anton, how we I, do. Can, I, 
I can agree that we should have separate uh, separate like, isolation of the modules uh, one from another, like having uh, action log CMS, action log pro the catalog, action log something. But uh, actually, I something I very miss uh, personally is uh, separating functional tests from module itself and. It's been, it has been discussed some time ago. It's something that uh, we still work on. Uh, why it's so important? Because you don't need functional tests on production. So um, if we now start to uh, separate the, the uh, modules because of functional tests, we will run into performance issues with Composer, uh, with uh, dependencies uh, itself in, in Composer install in Composer require, but when we uh, extract all the functional tests uh, into dev dependencies, we will be able to reduce the overhead of functional test files uh, from the production environment. And I would rather, uh, even now, I would rather write the tests in existing modules with uh, this uh, side effect of uh, um, unnecessary dependencies and then after we are ready uh, to extract MFTF tests from a uh, module itself, I would rather extract the tests based on their dependencies. Okay, I, I agree with you. Let's let's have a separate discussion with the MFTF team. Let's uh, let's discuss it again. I, I'm happy to discuss it again. I, I, I believe in that too. I agree. Let's move on to uh, next uh, uh, pull request. Thank you, Lukas. Great pull request. Just for everyone, I send a document in a Slack channel about how we plan to separate tests from Magento code. And the idea is not even to add tests into dev dependencies. Uh, the idea is to have a separate project uh, which only will have tests, and this project will be able to execute those tests against uh, instance of Magento you have based on modules installed on, on Magento instance. The idea is there, the only issue is time and resources. Great. I mean, great, that, that, I think that's perfect. I think, Lukas, I uh, don't need to say a thing for your great pull request after Anton already said that. <laughs> okay guys so we have a bunch of uh, other demos for the sync up so let's proceed uh Bogdan, are you here yes i'm here proceed with your pull request. <laughs> yes <laughs> okay uh, i will show you my screen one second Uh, do you see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then the first issue uh, uh, it was uh, creating a description for uh, DI XML preference template. Uh, and uh, I will show you the result of it. There was uh, created a template uh, for the IXMA preference previously, and uh, all was it's uh, creating some description for it. That does not look like PHP. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, but uh, it is. Uh, Magento 2 PHP plugin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kidding. I, I, I know. We have having lots of contributions today to this repo to Magento PHP Storm plugin. So that's cool yes. because it's 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 it just evolving uh, significantly. Okay. 
way uh, we can navigate to editor file and code templates code and uh, find uh, our yes uh, magenta model ui xml preference this is a template for it and uh, description i have been added it's uh, about first uh, pull request and the second one i will show you The second one, it is uh, about uh, PHP class completion uh, for the source model attribute uh, and text. Um, I will start with the EM uh, to show you how it's work. Uh, the source model attribute uh, uh, situated in system XML file. Um, and uh, we can see in the code, it's dependent or on uh, the, uh, some other tags. Because we don't want, uh, didn't want uh, to of uh, this completion if uh, like source model um, was written uh, out of field maybe maybe out of group because it is impossible uh, to execute this code for php and uh, this depends on field uh, and uh, it's check if uh, it is in system XML file uh, i can show you how it's work right now Yes, it is what I have done in this uh, pull request. Vision for source attribute uh, tag and in widget XML file uh, for source attribute uh, for source uh, attribute in uh, the uh, in next. Uh, That's cool. Uh, yes. right. Parameter. Yes. Parameter, yes. Uh, that looks great. One one thing maybe I would improve yes. because it looks like yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know people. What what do you think? Like in my understanding, if I'm new to Magento and I start to enter something, and uh, mm -hmm. the first line I have autocomplete for my word. What was it autocomplete for for my word? And then next lines were classes. Can can you demonstrate it again? Oh, yes, yes. Second. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, I see. So can you can you remove the class name and start to type? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, and can you, can you only type like three letters? Mage, can you remove all, all the yes, code? Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, for me, my, my my initial reaction was that if I'm new to, to Magento and I start to type and I see the completion, like uh, I would be slightly confused, maybe that that I have class names and uh, the, just the word on, on the first line. So I I think that might be a bit confusing that on the first line we show the word uh, some but, word and then classes. Uh, but I'm, here I'm sure. uh, you can uh, but here you can see the icon uh, that means a package uh, or folder uh, because um, maybe some uh, maybe first... you should yeah okay maybe okay anyway people what do you think like the do, is it, does it work or am I just saying stupid things? No, it totally works. Right now you have to go to another uh, class or something to <laughs> search for the, the class you're going to 
injecting into that sort of model. Sorry, I mean, I yes, so. definitely, there's a great improvement, and we should definitely do that. The only thing that I, was a bit confusing to me that the first we show the package, I'm not sure if you should show the package and just maybe show the classes immediately that you can select from, no? Yeah, I agree. I would no, I think to also show classes only. Maybe we can just add another one issue with this improvement for the future. Uh, the classes uh, will uh, show if you add some more uh, because uh, if uh, you will see all packages and classes, uh, it will be too, uh, a lot of uh, things and uh, uh, you can't find uh, what you need. <laughs> because if, if you know for the class name, you can only uh, write this uh, down and uh, uh, you will see all uh, possibilities. For example, what will be if you choose the package name? Uh, you, uh, you will Could you show, please? Uh, yes, yes. By the way, uh, before that, when, when, when you showed yes, it also showed yes in the first line, but maybe... Yeah. No. That, that confused me, but now it didn't show in the last, last line. And uh, now you can see where is the packages or where is classes. It is more comfortable if uh, uh, you see the smaller things choose. And uh, you can type uh, some, some more. Okay, cool. And uh, it is better uh, if uh, you can choose from um, not so much like all classes in the Magento and uh, all packages in, in the Magento system. Cool, thank you. Okay. And uh, I can uh, uh, show you today, to my today's work, uh, the second part of the day. It is, uh, it is uh, a testing of uh, the last uh, feature. Uh, for now, it, it isn't working, <laughs> uh, but I will try to finish it. Uh, before tomorrow. Uh, okay, I will show you my screen. Yes. Uh, it is an uh, issue about testing. Uh, I uh, had uh, created this issue and now I'm working on it. Uh, here's it. Now I'm trying to test uh, the completion of PHP classes uh, for source model attribute and tag, and because uh, it is uh, very important to uh, make our work uh, more faster and uh, uh, when we can uh, feel uh, safely during development. Because uh, if uh, there is no such thing as test, testing. Uh, you can break something and don't know about it. Maybe tomorrow I will show you uh, the result of my work of testing for this issue. Maybe not. I don't know. So, Bogdan, you mean that currently there are no tests in that project? Uh, no, uh, there are one test. Uh, uh, but uh, for this feature that uh, I have written, <laughs> there are no testing for now. It has to be written. Okay, cool. Because it is the today's for request. <laughs> and uh, uh, Vitaly uh, Boyko uh, said that it is very important and uh, asked if I can uh, uh, write test too for this feature. Okay, it is very valuable contribution. Thank you. And hopefully, yeah, tomorrow you could show us this part as well. Okay. okay. You. Looks like uh, after after today, everybody will develop Magento faster, much faster. Yeah. Okay. Uh,
I go into shore, ask something. Hello, everyone. Uh, one moment. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, so, um, today I was working on uh, issue number uh, 616425. Uh, 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 so, in this issue, uh, mm, this issue have a, uh, has a problem with all condition in search criteria, uh, in search criteria. Uh, so if uh, we uh, use uh, search criteria with all condition, for example, uh, I, <laughs> I prepare it, uh, for example, uh, like uh, my screen, uh, system um, uh, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't return return uh, the result uh, correctly. Uh, so uh, um, so in uh, uh, my system has uh, uh, twenty six products in category ID five and uh, twenty six product in category ID six. Uh, and uh, if I request the product list of this category uh, using condition O, uh, I, um, I get uh, the wrong request, uh, wrong response. Uh, one moment. Good. Uh, so uh, response uh, looks like uh, wrong. Uh, I researched the problem and um, uh, uh, I found that uh, uh, in file one moment could switch. Found the problem. Uh, in the file filter processor uh, and um, it uh, uh, it was uh, working uh, like uh, end uh, condition uh, I uh, uh, what I did uh, um, I uh, added uh, a filter collector and uh, if it uh, has uh, some uh, some same filters uh, I change it uh, condition type to in and uh, uh, merged uh, all values uh, so now it one moment. <laughs> it uh, <laughs> should work uh, uh, work well. Yep. Uh, in uh, if uh, uh, do you remember? Uh, my categories uh, have uh, 26 and 26 products and now result uh, has uh, correctly, uh, correctly data. Uh, that's all um, on, this, uh, on this time and uh, I am going to continue uh, my marathon. <laughs> Uh, maybe I think a uh, mm, couple of output requests I <laughs> do 
would be uh, sorry for my English. <laughs> Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for your contribution. Anton, do you have any questions? No, perfect contribution. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, and let's move on to. Uh, I know that. Uh, I know that. Leslie wanted to uh, say a few words about merchant and dev docs. Leslie, are you here? Uh, hold up. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Great. Um, let me quickly just share this. Um, so Jeff uh, mentioned that we had the jQuery widget PR and dev docs that was opened um, in the previous se uh, session. And that's now merged. Thank you so much to Abrar for that. Um, we also were able to close out the Configure X debug um, PR, and thanks to Alex for that. So two more PRs were merged. We have a couple more that are open. The sort by component, um, we got some technical review on that. It just needs a little bit more cleanup, and that should be ready to go. And another new one about removing um, the page in the head section, um, again, some good, great technical review on there. A little bit more information is needed, and we should be able to finish that one up as well. And thank you so much to Yaroslav. He has been our awesome technical reviewer and has been so quick um, with his reviews and just putting in great information so that we can get these um, processed as soon as possible. So thank you for that. Thank you, guys. And don't forget about merch docs. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's get some merch docs PRs in there, guys and girls. Okay, so uh, from what I know, uh, there are, we don't we don't have um, any other demos for this session for the Sync Up, but maybe while we were uh, listening and uh, looking. To previous ones, uh, someone who wanted to to show their work as well. Yeah, I actually didn't create a PR yet, but I can share my current state of work. It has some results. But you are going to create it, correct? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it will take some time because it's kind of little bit need a little bit more time for that. So what do you think? Should I? Yeah, why not? Okay. And uh, tell me if when you can see my PHP storm. Probably no. Yeah, no. Sorry, good jeans. Good jeans. Oh, very good. Okay. Oh, still the same. Sorry. And what about ah yeah, finally. Yeah, nice. So uh what I did today is I saw that request from Steven Steven, let me just a little bit. Yeah, Steven Kukla. Am I right? Yeah. Spelling right, yeah. So he requested the ability to assign assign users uh, to some roles. And I'm in process of working on that. And uh, for now, uh, I created first CLI command, which uh, which uh, renders the list of roles, like you can see here. So list list of existing roles, yeah. So with the, with the role ID, uh, I'm going to create a, another uh, CLI command, which will assign the user to this role ID, which will be an, uh, as an argument. 
and uh, user will be uh, by user ID, right? Pointed by user ID. Um, the, the bad thing here is that we accept a, a, IDs, we don't have any other uh, unique value which is uh, which is clear for 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 people right like administrators as you can see there are no unique uh, uniqueness here so that's it <laughs> so nothing nothing special for now but uh, uh stefan can you can you describe so uh so what's the i maybe misunderstood what was the feature that steve cooper requested assigning admin assigning users to what? a user to roll through cla ah okay understood cool yeah that's useful he, he actually uh wanted to also to create roles but we discussed this and uh, there are a lot of you know resources and it's uh, quite a big uh, list of resources and uh, some of them are nested so it will be quite difficult to do this through CLI so we decided that we will start from this list of roles and assign in one by one mm -hmm. and uh, okay. then continue discussion okay. okay Stepan thank you it would be a good addition to the CLI and sorry guys, I must stop with the list. Uh, we, we have another demo right now from Rodrigo. Sorry, Rodrigo. Don't worry. Okay. Let me show, uh, let me share the screen. Are you seeing my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, identify an uh, issue known uh, web install by the Optima tool. So, the URL on admin path, or if you change the value, and move forward and then back to web configuration, this value was uh, set to default value there. And also, there's some issues like here was uh, hiding some messages like during the verification when you click on next step. So I change it there. This is the PR. I fix this to show the loading and move the message from the uh, was in, inside the drop down to from advanced move to outside to show always show the that was performing the checking and here is the setup so now when you move to next it's showing the message that is checking the database connection computer is not so fast because i'm running on virtual machine but this helping and on next step So, so success message there. Now, the setup you move to the next step. And then now, if I change the value to some secure URL like admin and move forward. And now, if I move back, the admin skip before he was back into a uh, previous value. So is that is simple, but I think that it's important to fix that because uh, for beginner users doing performing the setup in web interface, it's good to have a good experience. This is the validation that was inside the advanced. Just show when you maximize there. But yeah, now it's showing all the time. And is that? Yeah, you could, you're absolutely right. That may that may be confusing and and catch uncut. 
Thank you, Rodrigo. Welcome. Yeah. I keep forgetting that we still have a set of wizard. Every time I think, oh, whoa, whoa, we're still there. Cool. And Anton, as Rodrigo mentioned, it's for beginner uh, users. <laughs> yeah. Good to hear. First setup. It's nice uh, to have a good experience. Okay, guys. Uh, so now I think uh, the list for the uh, of demos is really finished for this in cup. If you know somebody or for you, or if you want to show some other results of your work contributions, you could do it now, or uh, otherwise we finish this in cup because it's it's twice twice times more than that it should have been. <laughs> No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I thought that we had lots of uh, demos and contribution during uh, last four uh, six hours, but I even did, didn't expect that uh, almost the same quantity we got during this sync up. Excellent work, guys. Thank you very much. So I'm stopping the recording. <laughs>